In the Seagram building, Mies van der Rohe designed a building that relies on contradictions to achieve its avant-garde status. Regarded as one of the pioneering buildings in New York for modernist international architecture, the Seagram building contradicts the norms established by typical New York skyscrapers. The idea of the prime New York property is present today and continues to express how the Seagram building contradicts the customs established by New York City property. But at the same time, calling the Seagram a true modernist building is a contradiction. The Seagram building is not only different from a typical pre-1950s New York skyscraper, but also differs from any modernist building that follows it. Although the building essentially follows the rules of modernist architecture, it also breaks many essential norms that modernist architecture establishes. The building belongs to its own category that rejects all types. It is a contradiction to New York as it is a contradiction to itself, and this essay will analyze the aspects that places the Seagram in a category neither pre-war nor modernist.